What's going on guys? Eric here with ericcompressorpartsonline.com Take a look at these pressure switches. Today we're going to just uh, go through a short rundown on how to wire uh, a couple different popular types of pressure switches as well as adjusting the pressure switches. Uh, see, wiring, actually pretty simple. Um, if you're just not sure or not able to, I would certainly enlist the help of a helpful electrician uh, locally. That is always uh, recommended. But uh, it is pretty simple to adjust a pressure switch and to wire a pressure switch. Just make sure that uh, you, know, you pay attention. And of course, power is cut to the unit. And if you're going to adjust it, and uh, uh, just exercise caution. That's all you have to do. But it is certainly able to be done. Um, we'll start off with a, a square D pressure switch, which is what this is here. We have a uh, Condor style pressure switch right here. And again, a furnace or Hubble pressure switch right here. As far as wiring is concerned on square D, it may not be exactly clearly marked uh, for line and motor. Line is your power cord and motor obviously your motor cord. Um, on this particular switch, it's very hard to see, but you do have notations here on the terminal block, one, two, three, four. So what you'll do is, uh, if it's not uh, labeled line or motor, um, you wanna install your line or power cord wires on the outer contacts on the outer terminals, keep them on separate contacts, and of course your motor wires on the inner terminals. So then you have power cord, power cord, which are on one and three, and your motor, motor on two and four. As far as you know which black and white wire to install, it doesn't matter. As long as you have the motor wires on uh, the course uh, inside and the power cord wires on the outside. So it doesn't matter black or white though. Okay, so as far as uh, the Condor is concerned and the furnace, these are much easier to, uh, to wire up because they give you helpful notation right there on the plastic on the terminal block. Uh, it'll state line right here and motor right here. So this is pretty simple. Black and white for your power cord on the left side and black and white from the motor on the right side. Easy as that. And it's also just as easy on your furnace or Hubble switch line line so line on top and motor motor which of course on the bottom and you may notice that you have different types of terminals this is a flag terminal which is simply just a uh, male kind of uh, terminal here it just slides on a uh, female from the wire slides onto this male terminal and of course you can always uh, see if you have a different type of connection on your pressure switch uh, you can always just simply cut the wire on the power cord and install a new type of terminal that matches whatever you have on the switch. As far as adjusting the pressure switches, some pressure switches are not adjustable and, and the factory may not recommend it and you can tell because it won't have an adjustment screw. Um, this is where an adjustment screw would be. Um, obviously there's nothing there. This is already preset at the factory to cut in at 120 psi, cut out at 150 psi. So if it doesn't have an adjustment screw, it's clearly not adjustable. And they may have plastic tack right here, a silicone, over the adjustment screw, um, if that's uh, you know if it's not adjustable essentially. So some are not adjustable; they just are automatically cut in, cut out at the designated pressures. But for a uh, switch like this, which is a uh, Condor switch, you can adjust it. And we have here you'll notice two posts here, uh, surrounded by thick springs, and of course the two posts have small nuts, uh, adjustment nuts on them and another smaller right here with a nylon nut and a smaller spring. Uh, these are the cut-in pressure adjustments or the basically the main uh, pressure adjustments. So what you do is take this nut, you'll turn it clockwise to increase the cut-in pressure of the compressor. So it cuts in at 95 PSI, 120 PSI, what have you. This will adjust that, turn it clockwise to increase the cut-in pressure, counterclockwise to decrease the cut-in pressure. That's what these two adjustments are. Now this is the differential, which is the difference between the high end pressure and the cut end pressure. So to, if you do adjust this clockwise, it will turn and increase the high end cutoff pressure. So if it cuts off at 125, usually you'll turn this about one revolution uh, and it will increase the, uh, the cutoff pressure. So this is just the pressure uh, setting for the cutoff. So differential main adjustment screws. And of course, your square D switch has a similar setup against a large screw, which will adjust the, the main cut-in and cut-out pressure. 
uh, or the minimum rather. So it's a minimum adjustment screw clockwise to increase, to counterclockwise to decrease, and your differential for your high end cutoff pressure only, or your max PSI. Clockwise to increase that, counterclockwise to decrease. And this is a Condor switch, uh, a little bit different. It only has one adjustment. It's, you'll notice it says P here, and which is pressure, of course, and the arrow to the right with a plus and a minus on the left. This just increases the cut-in and cut-out pressure at the same time, simultaneously. So it doesn't have a separate you know, adjustment for minimum or maximum cutout. To increase the cut-in and the cutout pressure, both, you would turn this clockwise to decrease it, turn it counterclockwise. So pretty simple to do. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, we do have a technical document as well. You, you can take a look at pictures and uh, technical documents from the factory. Uh, email us or uh, go on aircompressorpartsonline.com um, and hit the link for email or call us and uh, sales associate will uh, help you out. Well, I hope that uh, gave you some good information and uh, we'll see you next time.